Hi y'all. Um, I realize I haven't done a video in a while and I thought it'd be kind of a good opportunity to uh, go ahead and do something. So uh, once again, I still know nothing about editing, but I've come to the terms that I'm going to make videos anyway. So if you want to click off because you like having fancy editing, boy, this is not the place to find fancy editing. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to do a, a small tutorial on just, God, I have so many things that I've been wanting to show. I have got scores of things, so let's start off with this. This was one of my favorite things of this month. Um, it is the Vise Art Professional Makeup Palette 08 Editorial, which is funny. It's not really the way that they actually... Uh, display it in Sephora. I think in Sephora it was listed as oh something else. All right, I need to clean my brushes. I just realized this, but I bought these off of eBay, by the way. That was another favorite thing I was going to mention. These are amazing. They were fifteen ninety nine for the whole set, and they are the softest, most amazing brushes I've ever owned. So, do not judge brushes by their price. Go on eBay. I also wanted to share some stuff I was doing diet-wise. I've actually been able to lose quite a bit of weight recently. I thought it was because I was exercising more. Actually, it turns out that um, it has to do with my diet and how much food I'm eating. Partially because I'm having to save money, I am not eating as much. And through this, I have found a way to both be healthy and yet lose weight. Um, you know, avocados and mangoes are always a plus, right? But you can't always stick with that if you're going to be in a vegan kind of way. So uh, I will try to write down that this diet, because it really is a diet. It is um, my arms in the last video were quite a bit bigger. I, I've been actually looking at my other videos going, I actually have lost weight. This is incredible. I wore this shirt a year ago, and I swear to God, I was filling it out. I was actually filling it out, not in the ways that you want to fill out a shirt. So... Um, not to judge anybody, I, I felt like my weight was not what I wanted it to be. I didn't like the fact that I couldn't see my collarbones anymore. I was just really filled out. Um, so I, I really do think I should share what I've been doing because I've been asked recently, what, what in the world have you been doing? One huge secret is almond milk and whey powder. Mixing those together really helps your appetite go down throughout the day. A mix of certain vitamins helps. Yes, exercise helps, but I was exercising before and it wasn't doing anything. So I do think that diet is key. Eating less as well is key. So I will try to. Uh, maybe I can do something where I, I show you. I don't know. If you have any ideas of how to present that, I, I could write a diet book, I guess. Um, but it doesn't feel that formal. But uh, I, there is a science to this in a way. So oddly enough. Um, that would be my eBay, by the way, telling me probably that my item is sold already. I listed, I just did a video on how to list on eBay, and that reminds me I probably should go ahead and um, eventually post that because I've I've been trying to uh, teach people how to do that. It's actually quite easy. It's funny, the stuff that you find easy and the stuff that other people find easy are so different. Um, I still am enjoying, this is kind of a, my favorites month as well, so I'm still enjoying the Cabral. So I'm going to be using that first. Um, I do have my mirror over here. I, it's not the best setup, but I, I haven't been able to fix it any more than this. Um, my room is always a jumbled, messed up mess. I've noticed that I just like to have shit everywhere, so that is just how I am. And this is still, it's amazing, this stuff is still nice and soft. Um, I have found with this, if you want to go ahead and wipe the brush off before you apply it, just the extra gunk, suggestible. And uh, I actually try, I try to put this on, believe it or not, from far away, not up close, because up close you tend to get a little bit too critical, like, oh, I should put it on here. Uh, look straight into the mirror, straight on the light, and just go ahead and brush this through the brow. I have not had a problem yet. With this, uh, all right, it looks good. I didn't go out clubbing last night because I actually wanted to feel good today. So I'm proud of myself. I've actually managed to get rid of the club bug. 
because I was wanting to go to the club every week, and honestly, it's just not good for me, so. I am trying to find projects and stuff to do at home. Let's go ahead and use our Sugar Pills Black, and I'll show you a neat little trick. This was a brush that came in the palette that I had, which I just love. There's so many ways to do makeup, so many ways. Um, start out with this really big brush by Real Techniques. This is such a cool brush. Awesome, awesome. And um, I can use, uh, let's see. Ah, let's just go ahead and use some concealer on the eyes so that the, the uh, makeup shows up a little bit better. You can also use, I really like CoverGirl uh, concealer. And this is the uh, 705. So, I mean, you can kind of decide if you want to go with that. And I use my finger, blah, blah, all the stuff I have bought. So funny, you can buy a bunch of crap and then turn around and be like, I don't use any of this. I still just use my finger. Um, I do occasionally like to use the uh, these sponges just because I bought a, a pack of them for real cheap. It does pay off because they help to wipe off that extra gunk. So... If I do end up going out clubbing today because I lose my vow of not clubbing, I will definitely give you another makeup look tonight that you can do. I actually have, it's funny, I have a fancier camera that I wanted to set up just so I could do makeup videos, but the, the battery is dead, so I'll have to wait on that. Right? And this is just the white. The white in the palette. It's actually very, it's funny. <laughs> I was told, ooh, this palette's really big and bold. And honestly, I've, I've had bolder palettes and other stuff. Throw away shirt. I don't really care. Uh, Real Techniques. This is a neat brush. It's kind of an angle. I would suggest, let's see. Let's go for a green look. So I'm going to be using these three up top. So start out with this really light green, and I always like, always go uh, lightest to darkest. That way, if you want to keep using the same brush, you can. And just go ahead and dot that in uh, the corner of the middle of the eye. Whoa, hello. It's funny, I, I, I keep my makeup obsessions to myself, you know. Uh, there it gets pretty bad sometimes but as I see on YouTube a lot of people own a ton of palettes too I own a ton of palettes I was thinking about doing another tutorial with the one that I've had the longest um, that my friends really like but I thought I'd start out with this one this isn't actually this is an $85 palette I I wouldn't necessarily say it's worth it the shadows are quite lovely but you can also get a, a good quality in Morphe if you want if you wanted something that uh, was just as good because I have noticed there are times when I try to apply these and they don't quite go on I mean these should just be popping right on my eye but they don't so it's they're amazing it's a great palette but for 85 bucks you know you can probably be fine choosing something else I'm gonna go ahead and just use a little bit of yellow I did this last time in the middle of my eye, and it actually, with this palette, really seems to pop the middle of the eye out. Right? That's it. Super easy. Um, the mint in this lower section, I really like on the bottom of the eye, so you can go ahead and just swipe that underneath real quick. I have a little bit of black under there, but it, it'll be uh, covered up by the mint. All right. Now just pick your favorite uh, liner. I'm going to use a teal liner today. It is made by Milani, and it's funny. They're actually really, you don't hear a whole lot about them. They're like a drugstore-based um, company, but, man, they make some cool stuff. So I'm just going to drag that quickly along the tops of my eyes. It's just the way I like to do it. If you have a, a more specific way that you want to do your eyes, like black liner. Kat Von D has a really neat black liner called Trooper that you can put on the top of this that's 
pretty cool. I like to stick to liners because you cannot wing um, pencil liners. You can only wing these. You'll get better and better as, as you go. You just take your point and drag and you have an automatic wing. And just for shits and giggles, let's go ahead and use our blue mascara by NYX. They make a really neat blue. Try to stay away from Alme Blue. I bought Alme Blue and it gelled out on me, meaning it turned into like this very hard gel. I'm gonna just shut my eyes because I notice when I do this, I, my eyes get all creepy and weird and they, you see my eye going up in the top corner, keeping them closed. I normally keep them partially open. I would recommend that, but I, I kind of know where, where this is going. All right, so that's it. A little blue on the top kind of pops the teal fun look I'm not gonna do lips today um, but I would recommend baby lips I do not like chapsticks but this is something I can definitely stick with another favorite of mine I do not ever talk about is my Tory Burch stuff's amazing it's a little tube it's like 25 bucks you can get it at Macy's two dots of this and you are ready to go you do not need to spray perfume on yourself in order to smell good. This stuff, it's amazing. So definitely check Tori Birch out. Oh, and as far as my little tip for how to finish uh, your look, take the small brush. If you do get a brush set like this, and I, I've never had a brush set like this before in my life with these really small, thin brushes. These are incredible. You can take um, your powder and get really insanely close to the lashes with this and it, it's very subtle but it's much better than using a liner if you really just want to get some detail in there and it, it's just incredible like these brushes are incredible I cannot believe how cheap they were on eBay so definitely get a set of these if you get a chance and uh, they're really cheap if you'd like to get a set of these because I keep going back to these they are amazing especially if you wanted to drag you have that shine that happens on the nose if you just push this up it immediately just fixes it has enough pressure it's not just placing powder on your face it's actually wiping oils and stuff away just make sure you clean them real good because they do they do get uh, quite a bit of oil I liked my kabuki brush fun to place the powder but this other one it, it polishes and it doesn't feel bad so anyways uh, that's my video I'm kind of spacing out on y'all because I've had very little sleep um, I will do a tutorial on how to use the glitter with the glue next time I might have done one already as well as some reviews on some other products that I've got including uh, the benefit line um, I'm not too impressed with it <laughs> ah it's funny, you you buy something for a lot of money, makeup wise, and you think that's really gonna work, and it does not. Oh, by the way, speaking of cheap, uh, L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Voluminous Original. This is incredible mascara. It is better than the falsy lashes. It's better than I bought the Big Fatty um, by um, excuse me Urban Decay. I wouldn't recommend it. And uh, look what I'm using for mascara today. Friggin NYX. I don't know what to tell you guys. It's all opinion. You want to buy expensive makeup? Buy expensive makeup. You want to buy something that's still just as good? <laughs> Go cheap. All right. Anyhow, um, been fun doing a video. Um, not to slam benefit too hard. This is a very good product. Um, it's just a pore minimizer. It's very smoothing. If you wanted to put this on with, um, I like to combine it with um, a real basic, like a MAC powder or an Urban Decay powder. Um, this is a really good couple of things right here uh, to go with. Urban Decay is so cool. It's the D Slick powder. Um, it's a good foundation replacer. If you use foundation a lot and you find you're breaking out, um, the pore minimizer is really good. Anyways, makeup obsession. It's never going to end. It will go forever. And I'm glad you guys are here to see it in motion. So anyways, I'll try not to wait too long to do my next video. I'm going to do an Overwatch video at some point once my camera gets charged. And I'll see you guys later. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, uh, whatever. And um, have a really good day. Make it 
make it a good day. All right. Bye, guys.